Hi, Merle. Okay, so I decided it would be best if we just looked at a video of all of the paintings that are in my laundry room because I tried to take pictures and it would be stupid to like attach a bunch of pictures. So we're going to start on a little tour of my gallery. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's my laundry room. Okay, so this one here at the top is really cool. I like it a lot. It's bigger than the canvas than I normally do. And the funny story about this one is when I did it, uh, I put it up and I thought it just doesn't look right. So three days later, I added the moonlight. I put the moon in and the little, you know, look, making it look like it's kind of moonlight. That That's kind of a cool thing about that one. I like it. I did that one really fast. I liked it. This one is, uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this. This one is uh, uh, poppies on a ocean side thingy, whatever. I hate my poppies. I'm very critical of my own work. It's kind of funny. It's not funny. It's just, it just is what it is. So here you go. So we're walking into my laundry room. This is my laundry room. All of the paintings around. Okay, we'll start it there. That was my attempt at doing something Picasso-like. I don't know how good I did, but that's kind of silly. Um, that's a, oh, let's see if I can get back here. Okay, that's a, a like a seaside thingy. There's a sunflower and Marilyn. I don't really, I'm not super enamored with that Marilyn, but hey, it's a good try. This is a, um, a Starry Night is a famous um, impressionist picture, and this is Starry Night over Sacramento. If you look there, you can see the Sacramento Bridge and downtown Sacramento. That was a class I took and they did that. That was kind of fun. This one is a camellia, camellia flower. I love it. It's really pretty, I think. It's kind of fun. Uh, next to it's a beach scene. Silly, but it's all good. My very first attempt at, at a waterfall. It's way too symmetric. All those those uh, the things on either side are just um, a little too symmetric. It doesn't look real, but but the flower, but the water looks good. So I learned something there, and that's kind of cool. This is one of the first horses I did. Remember this one because it's, it looks kind of cool, but it's not as good as I could do. I learned much better. I got better, much better at that. So that's one of my horses. And that little guy is Santa. I don't know if you can get it. I'm not very tall, so, but it's, but I like that fun one. It's fun. This one is a bowl full of cherries. There you go. Well, that's kind of cool. I love the cherries in that one. The highlights and stuff are neat. Um, there's a barn. That's nice. I like that one. Well, check out the cupcakes. Let's see. I did two cupcakes, totally different colors. I think they're so much fun. Really fun. This one is titled Derby Day. I love that. Yeah. The Kentucky Derby means a lot to my family because Mark was born and raised in Kentucky and his mom lived with us for a lot of years and she wanted to watch the Derby every year. See, there you go. The horse is getting better, right? Not quite as good as it will get, but a little better. And then, oh, that's the that's a poppy. I like my poppy. It's pretty cool. Um, that's a uh, windmill in a tulip field. And you see here, this right here, oh God, that's because it's right across from the doorknob that goes out into the garage. So, you know, damn, it got mashed, but whatever. It's all right. And then up there, oh, that's a Tuscan, Tuscan side with, with sunflowers wish I could get closer sorry but it looks I love that one this one is a, 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 um, a impressionist painting it's my rendition of an impressionist painting a famous one as well as this one here is a, a Picasso painting called sunflowers that it's just my rendition of that it's not much not my idea this guy down here is one my niece did for me I love that because she did it for me and I did a little one in the corner for her and this one is um, Sierra Mountain Sides. I like that one. I think it's kind of cool. I love the colors in that one. That's fun. Oh, go up here. This one is funny because, okay, I'm going to back way up because it takes up, it's long and kind of whatever. Uh, I worked on that like three days in a row. I had it up on the canvas. I just played with it. And if you look, the flowers are kind of, kind of crazy colors and stuff. And then those little white dots, I don't know if you can see it. Can, let's see if I can zoom in here. Okay, see there's little white dots. Oh, I love those flowers. I love the colors. They're crazy. And those little white dots, I swear, I added that like four days later. I was like, 
hey, I'm going to put dots on it, which is kind of silly, but I did. See how the edge is orange? I mostly, I mostly do my edges in black. I like that. But sometimes I do color, like on the this cupcake down here. I did that edge in pink because I thought that looked kind of fun. Uh, Golden Gate Bridge. That's kind of, I love those colors. I think it's really pretty. My niece is Kitty. One of the first animals I did. I'm still not all that good at animals, but I'm getting better. I work, they are so hard for me. It's really hard. Uh, that's a guitar. Not my only guitar, but one of the best ones, I think. I like that one. It was fun with the keyboard, with the piano keys on the side. I like that one. There you go. That's how, that's the, the best horse I ever did so far. I'm so proud of that one. I love it so much. Love the colors. I love his eye. So pretty. There's a little rooster. I love all the colors. I do bright colors. I like bright colors a lot. There's a rooster. He's kind of fun. This one is another classic. It's my rendition. It's called Fisherman's Cottage. It's by one of the masters, and it's just my version of that. This guy is just a, a scene that I saw in a, um, a thing on a thrift store, and I thought, I can do that, and so I did, which is kind of cool. This one I saw in a catalog, and I thought, I don't want to pay for that. I could make that, so I did. And then um, that's a lion that I just, oh, shit. I hope I'm not moving this too much. I love the lion. I, I think he's one of my favorites. This guy. This guy is one of the... Um, pets that I did, the dogs that I did that came out well. I think it's really cool. Um, I like that one. Bird of Paradise. It's kind of cool. A uh, butterfly in the rain. Rainbow rain. Butterfly in the rainbow rain. That's a, a flag with a, with a citizen in front. Another flag with a peace sign. I'm a hippie at heart, can't help it. And then there's a ballerina. I love the ballerina, I think she's cute. Calla lilies. This one, I, I hate it, I absolutely hated it, but it was, if you look close, it's it's supposed to be, uh, wow, lily pads like, uh, you know, in a pond, floating in a pond with a reflection. It looked, I think it's horrible, but I tried. It's, you know, it's one of those ones where you, I put them all up because I, whatever, you know, they're in my laundry room. This guy's cool. It's kind of fun. Now, these are interesting because what I did is, let's see if I can do this. It's the same painting, but it's amazing how different it looks when it's in different colors. That one's really bright and crazy, and this one is more subdued. I like the more subdued one. I just thought I'd go crazy with the other one for a change. Okay, now we're going to move over to the washer and dryer. <laughs> that's my washer, that's my laundry. Okay, so let's see, I don't know if you can see it. There's a kind of a Hawaii scene. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. There we go. A Hawaii scene. Ah, my, that one palm tree looks like Cousin It. Not very good, but the other one looks pretty good. I did better later when I was doing Hawaiian scenes. This was my attempt at pop art in a boxer. He looks kind of goth, kind of stupid, but I love the, the, the big Gerber daisies. Those are nice. Those are a lot of fun. And again, I love the color. This guy is one of my favorite. Look at that drink. I love it so much. It's like, cheers, yay. Can you see it? I don't know. I'm, I'm so short. I'm trying to look up at it, but and the, that's the cabinets above the washer and dryer that it's hanging on, but that's fun. And tulips. I like the tulips. I think they're really pretty. I have a lot of ideas for tulips in my head I want to do. Hey, and there's the sign. Laundry room. Help wanted. Open 24 hours. Yeah, right. Help wanted. Um, these guys. Just a couple of ones I liked. I like my flamenco dancer. I love her colors. I love the colors. You know, kind of unexpected the turquoise in there. Um, usually they're in red. But I like that one a lot. I think she's really pretty. 
This one I did recently. I think you probably saw it on Facebook. This is my one of my most recent. It's a pair, just a pair. I like it. These two are interesting. They're I find pictures or or I uh, what do you say like a coloring book, right? So, but it's on canvas on a framed canvas. So this was a print on a framed canvas, completely white, and I did the color. So I decided what colors to do it, and I used paint pens and and gel pens and some acrylic with brush, and I made that into what it is. And the same goes for my lion. I used paint pens and uh, gel pens and and some acrylic with brush and, and filled in the spaces with the colors I thought would look good. And each each section is like a color story, which is kind of cool, kind of nuts. Just a, the coloring, it, it kind of eases my mind. Anyway, that's my gallery. I have a few others. I'll send you pictures. Thank you for your interest. Um, and I will post this and hope you'll look at it. Take care, Merle. Bye.